everyone. Hey, hey. We are so excited to show you something different today. Yeah, we're kind of stepping outside the box from what we normally do, or just outside the frame. <laughs> just a little bit. So we decided, you know, we go into these stores because mm -hmm. we're always decorating, right? Always decorating. You want to decorate your house, these home decor stores, and these large canvas pictures are get, they're quite expensive. So yeah, really nice. It can get a little ones. pricey for you know a nice scale yeah. um, picture for the wall. And as you know, when you're decorating and putting things on the wall, you always want to go larger yeah. and not smaller. Yeah. And so when you get those larger pieces and you see the price tag, and you're like, mm, better not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So we decided, you know what? Why not take a panel, mm -hmm. a beautiful panel. And turn into an art piece a to hang on the panel. wall. Yeah. A fabric panel. Well, <laughs> sometimes we got to put that disclaimer there. Yeah, a fabric panel. Why not design it and put it on the wall? Right. So we're going to show you how to make your own homemade little frame, drape the panel over, mm -hmm. and it's really quick and easy. Quick little staple. This is under $30, yes. give or take, depending on what panel you get and the different woods that you get to go with it. Yeah. Um, but something really cool that you can throw right up on the wall. Yep. Alrighty, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So it's right down there. Right there. After you click on that subscribe button, make sure you click on the little bell that shows up so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. And always share these videos with your friends. All right, let's get started. Let's go. So the supplies that you're going to need for this project, you're going to purchase two eight foot long pieces of wood, It'll be a half of inch by three fourths of an inch. Then you're going to take that wood and you're going to cut it. You're going to cut it into uh, four pieces. Two of the pieces will be 41 inches, and then the other two pieces will be 35 inches. So the next thing you're gonna need is a panel of your choice. The panel that we have chosen to use is called Nightlife by Northcott, and this panel is 36 inches by 43. The finished product will actually be 35 inches by 42. The next thing that you're gonna need is a stapler, so basically a staple gun, <laughs> and then the staples to go with it. Then you'll also need a measuring tape, or if you have a large cutting board. And then you're going to need your little sawtooth uh, picture hanging brackets. And then the last thing is a hammer. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've brought our wooden pieces here. And on the outside sections on the side, I've got the two 41 inch pieces here. And then I've got my 35 inch pieces up across the top and the bottom. And as you'll see, those 35 inch pieces are on the inside of those 41 inch pieces. And I will just butt those sides up together and kind of just work my way around. I've got my staple gun and I'm using a 5 16 inch staple. And there are different ways to make the frames, but we just found this will be quick and easy. Right. We're all about quick and easy. Yep. So I'm just going to staple these in. So one here, one there, and I'll work my way around the frame. All right, we're going to finish this side up and then we're going to flip it over just to have that double security. Oh, I'll flip it this way. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> That's why we're stapling. Yeah. <laughs> and you can use nails if you want. We're just, we were trying to, we were finding a way that would make it really easy to put together. Coming up here on our last side. And we've got that stapled in. All right, now that we have our frame made, the next thing we want to do is iron our panel. All right, so we've got our panel laid upside down, and then we've put our frame on top. And we're kind of shifting it around, I think, just to make sure that it's going to fit exactly the way we want. Because this is fabric and it is going to stretch, right, we want to make sure we do one side at a time. And our, our, our frame is going to actually hang on the wall 43 inches long, so it's going to hang long ways. So we want to do the sides here first before we do top and bottom. Correct. So put your sides first. Yep. So, Corey, let's start off on this side. Okay. So that way we then, at, once we've got it stable, then we can just make the difference happen over there. Right. Alrighty, go ahead, go get started. So I'm going to turn this over, and we want to make sure, as you're seeing here, that we have this turned over so there is a black edging yeah. around it instead of seeing the white salvage piece. And then once I get that turned, I will just start stapling down. Yeah, and what if you and you'll notice that we're kind of lining up the white to the black, so that way it kind of gives us a guideline. Just stapling down. And sometimes it might move a little bit. That's okay. Just reshift it and go back to it. And I'm doing a staple probably, what, three to four inches apart? Yeah. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah. All right. Now we're on the opposite side. So let's pull that. And we're going to have to stretch the fabric just a little bit, but that's okay because we need it to be a little tout. So we want to make sure it's stretched evenly all the way across, though. So, Corey, you might want to pull that. There we go. 
Oh, this is going to be perfect. Yep. So then we'll start stapling down. And it's just easier to just kind of walk with the fabric mm -hmm. and staple. All right, so we're here finishing up the end of this. And if you look at it and you feel like you want to do a couple more, like right there, just go right back in. Okay, so we've done the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And I'm up here at the top portion of the uh, panel piece that we're working on here. And as I can see, kind of just looking at an overall view, I know you can't really see the bottom side, um, but the top end here has a little less fabric than it did whenever we had this frame laid out to begin with, and that's okay. The stretching has kind of moved it around. So whatever side that you have the least amount of fabric on is the side that you're going to want to start working on first. That way you can stretch it evenly on the other side when it gets to that point. So I'm just going to start over here give it a little bit of a stretch and I'm staying about an inch uh, to two inches away from the corner section here that's the last thing that we're gonna do so I'm gonna pull this over line it up just like we've been doing and take a staple to that and work my way all the way down the side okay. alright so I've got here to the edge like we said leaving those about two to three inches give or take on the side so that's the top we're gonna shift this up a little bit and then we can do that bottom portion all right, now I'm here at the bottom side. I will stretch our piece over here and just begin to staple, Remember, remembering to stay about two to three inches away from our corners. And I will just staple away. Okay, so now we're at our corners here. And the biggest thing to do with the corner, the easiest way I found, I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but the easiest way I found is to peel this back and tuck the corner edge in like that. So we're just tucking that piece that normally sticks out into the frame and then while pulling this up we're just going to do a little bit of folding so we'll fold it to the edge first like this grab our staple gun and staple that side in just like so and be careful with your fingers we'll staple that one in and then a little bit more folding here just to get a little bit more maneuverable with it we just kind of want to hide this piece to make sure that that is a nice clean corner and we'll fold this one up a little bit of a pull here push that back in just a lot of maneuvering and we can staple that side down and if we need to fix that corner we can just staple that down as well so now that we have all four edges done we're going to tap all the staples just to go down all the way so now that we've got everything uh, hammered down just a little bit just to get those staples in the wood just a little bit more. I'm going to take our um, sawtooth picture hangers here and I'm going to go a couple inches in from the corner because I don't want one of these nails to go into those corner pieces. Uh, a couple inches in from the corner making sure that straight visually. Lay that down and then just with my hammer I can tap these nails in. And I'll just go down into the wood and then I'll do the other one as well making sure that's straight so that's one side with that picture hanger and then I'm gonna come over here to that other side couple inches in making sure that's staying straight as well and I can nail this side down and nail this side down All right, now we get to reveal it. Whoop, whoop. Are we ready? I think so. Alrighty. So let's, well, let's go ahead and flip it around. Wa boom! Tell you who that was. That is so pretty, and I it's so this. lightweight. Yeah, there's not much in it. You know, if you wanted it to be a little bit more secure frame-wise, you yeah. could use nails instead of staples. Yeah. Um, but we, since it's just a lightweight panel of fabric, this just with a staple gun is going to be perfectly fine wire for it yeah so you can use what like you said nails you can use thicker wood if you wanted to but right we want it to be lightweight easy throw it up on the wall you know with a, the, a command strip or something exactly yeah mm. just something we wanted something just have a little bit of a cost effective option to get some of that larger wall decor for you yes and throw it up on your wall give you something you can easily switch out over time awesome let's show a top view of it okay So that's what we've got here, top view wise. And I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. This is gonna look great over my desk. 
I know. I was now thinking, like, I might want this over in my office instead. Mm, no, it's mine. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I love it. I love it. I cannot wait to see um, how many people try this type of method of right. doing a fabric panel. You know, in any panel. It right. doesn't have to be just this one. No, not at all. Uh, yeah. You can use it with any type of panel. Um, this is a great idea if you're trying to switch out decor for holidays. Oh, yeah. You have different holiday panels and easily swap them in and out. Yes. Um, pretty cost effective way to do that as we yeah. all love to decorate for the holidays. Yep. Well, if you like this panel, we'll have it in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, we'll Thank see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.